Uh, welcome ESL to week three in the next gen series as we are getting ready for some qualifying. It is extremely cloudy here at Iowa as you see Sebastian. Last week's winner, he locked himself in. So far, two drivers have locked themselves into the playoffs. As he goes around turn four. Right now, it's Ani on top of the board after the first lap. Will that lap time hold? As he gets set to cross the stripe. And it's Ani Escola on the pole here at Iowa Speedway. In second, Tyler Commander. Third, William Thompson. Fourth, Odian. Fifth, Robert Cron. Sixth, Randy Pierce. Seventh, Eric Belmont. Third, Brogan. I mean, excuse me, eighth, Brogan. Ninth, Axel Raven. And Thomas Noble rounds out your top ten. I'll be back in a few minutes for the start of the race. Welcome back as we get set for some week three racing, some short track racing here at Iowa. We're getting ready to go 250 laps here around Iowa Speedway. Who's going to have that long run speed today? 
Adi Escola on the pole. Tyler Commander in second. This DOG already has two drivers in the playoffs. And I will have to restart this race because there's a few drivers. Something happened to a few drivers here at the start of this race. So I might have to restart this. Let's see. Yeah, definitely an issue there. I'll have to, gonna have to restart this race. I'll be back in a few minutes. We will attempt this track one more time. If there is a, another issue like that, it might be we might have to change this track. And I don't know if the race will happen today, but let's hope it works this time around.
let's try to give this another go here and hopefully the AI plays nice this time around. Sebastian is going around for his first time. Because right now it's showing Eric Belma on top of the board. showing Evan Ethel as the winner of the poll. And Tazzy in second, Raven third, Belmont fourth, Escola fifth, Noble six, Brogan seven, Pierce eight, Kron ninth, and Andrew Green tenth. Let's just hope we have no mishaps on pit road. We are using 40 cars and it is a short track. So the AI can have a little bit of difficulty. I'll be back in a minute. Is let's hope there's no issues this time. And all is well this time around. So we will be racing. 250 laps. The first stage is 88 laps. Ends at lap 88. Sebastian and Odeon are the only two drivers that have clinched the playoff spot. Two DLG cars. They are looking to get a third car in or maybe another win from Odeon or from Sebastian. In the front row is Evan Ethel and Tazzy Blackwell. Second row, Axel Raven, er Eric Belmont. Third row, Ani Escola and Thomas Noble. Fourth row, Brogan Spurraw and Randy Pierce. In the fourth row and in the fifth row, Robert Crown and Andrew Green. Getting ready to go racing here at Iowa Speedway. The pace car comes off the track. The green flag waves and we are underway. And the 
as Tazzy Blackwell that leads that first lap. Eric Belmont in second. There goes Everett Ethel. He moves up to second now. Eric Belmont there in third. And you have Axel Raven. Thomas Noble. We'll see what is the preferred line. As you see, Brogan getting a little aggressive early on. There's three, three wide there with Randy Pierce. Tyler Commander and Thomas Noble. want to stay three wide for too long. Go a little further back. There's Robert Braun in 12. Everyone's still trying to battle for position. It's Justin Reeside currently in 18th. Up four spots. Eric Kozak in the 20th. Last season's champion, Doug Britton, in 26. He's got a, a lot of work ahead of him today to climb up through the field. But it is a long race, so we'll see what he can do. Ty Bird in 37. As Eric Belmont gets by Tazzy. Tazzy has fallen back to third. Now it's Evan Ethel with the lead. Eric Belmont has shown some speed early on. And it is a short track, so traffic is going to be an issue at some point. There's Odeon up seven positions, up to 12. Now he's going to try to get by Peyton Hill. He easily gets by the 406. Now Bel Belmont takes the lead for the first time. There's Andrew Green in the 10th. Still very early in this run. But who is going to start fading? Because eventually, tire wear is going to play a huge role here today. Now you see Brogan. As Tazzy continues to fade back, she is down to fifth already. Drivers continue to try to battle throughout the field. There's Cornell Walker in 14th. We got Sebastian there. And the caution is out. The caution is out. Let's see if we can figure whoa. Stefan Forge is facing the wrong way here. Let's see if we could figure out. Massive pileup. And 
and that was Lotus Lee. He just kind of lost it there on the turn. Right there, he just loses control of the car, sp spins out, but Leathers gets into him. And somehow, Stefan Forge was facing the opposite way. Yes. He was trying to hold on, and he couldn't. He was trying to hit the brakes. He started drifting. It ran right into the 31. Unfortunately, those cars are just casualties. They had nowhere to go. But Lotus Lee started this whole thing. Some drivers just had nowhere to go. A lot of cars were involved in that. Looks like Zach Holdorf, Stefan Forge, Ty Bird, Amelia LaFrance, Bruno DeMora, Jaden Swift. Most of the cars towards the back of the field got caught up. Somehow Lotus Lee is still on the lead lap. Drivers were holding on for dear life. When the 125 spun out. So a very interesting start here to this race. Right now it's Lost City, one and two. And Evan Ethel there in third, Brogan fourth. Tazzy still in fifth. Because everyone's gonna get by. Zach Holdorf there, he is still a lap down. Got a middle of France on pit road. Swift, Ty Bird, Stefan Forge, Berto Demora, they are all on pit road. And it looks like Swift is quickly getting back on the track. And he is. They quickly repaired that damage and back out to the track. As well as Forge. He's trying not to lose another lap. Can he get out ahead of the pace car? He is currently three laps down. And it's going to be close. Does he beat this pace car? I think he is going to. And he does, but he is still three laps down. That was, we're getting ready to do this again. Both tires have, I mean, both drivers have any issues there. Some drivers are very loose here early on. First base of progression hasn't happened yet, so we're gonna run into some cars being way more loose than usual as we gonna get back to racing here at this restart. And the green flag waves and we are underway once again. Ani quickly takes the lead. It's 
second is Belmont. Ethel drops down to fourth. Now he's gonna try to go to the inside of the number three here. This is for third. It looks like that inside has some speed. But some drivers do okay on the outside as well. Let's just see Brogan trying to battle back on the outside. And now it's Ani and Belmont going at it. This is for the lead. Ani holds on. Tyler Commander in ninth. Mitchell O'Brien in fifteenth. Lots of traffic back there. E. Weezy's there, Trey Smith, Gonzalez. Middle of France, but he's a few laps down. Tanner Partons in 21st, Ducky Zoom. Now with Kozak's there. Merle McGuire. Well, now Walker making some moves up to 11. Well, because we had that caution, it might throw off the pit strategies here. have to keep an eye on there. As you see, we see very loose there, currently in 13th. Justin Reeside, currently in 16th, up six positions. on your leaders. There's Ani and Eric Belmont, one and two. And they're starting to pull away from the third place car of Brogan. That's we're already 27 laps in. We started off a little slow, but it looks like we're full steam ahead now. Stuck Britain currently in 19th, up eight positions. And the caution is out again. And that was the 323 Carissa Morris. It looks like she had the same issue, but this time it was heading into one. She already had an issue the other time. But that brings out the caution again. But no harm, no foul. She is, she didn't suffer any damage. She is currently running. She's the last car in the lead lap. She's 34th. Now we have some takers onto pit road. Now the pit strategies are completely thrown off here today. This pit road is pretty busy right now. Got Gonzalez, Thompson, Reside, Eric Kozak, Lotus Lee, Britton, Swift, Ricky, Chris Andrews, Robert Cron. They're all on pit road. I 
looked after the crew chiefs have seen Carissa have a little bit of issue Lotus Lee they're like it's probably safe just to put on tires get a fresh new set of tires here and see if that helps but it seems like to be the cars towards the back of the field that seem to be extremely loose could be a long race if cars continue to stay loose here at Iowa Speedway. One and two is still Eric Belmont and Ani Escola. still have not gotten a one to go yet. Uh, Zach Holdorf comes out of pit road. Looks like he is going to lose another lap. He did not get out front of the pace car. Things are interesting very early on, especially with these pit strategies that some of these drivers are already doing. We should get the one to go this time around. And we do. And these rest these restarts have been tricky as well for some of these drivers. Pace car pulls back in again as we get ready for another restart here. The green flag waves and we are underway. That's the top two that have been fast all day long, Adi and Eric Belmont. There's Brogan going to try to steal second, but he could not get there. Commander there. All these drivers are trying to take advantage of these restarts to try to gain a few more positions if they can. You see how big of a difference those fresh tires make as the 78. He put on fresh tires. He almost runs into the 54 of Zoom. You can tell how much faster the 78 is on those tires. There's Sebastian, Justice Blackwell. Eric Kozak, he is the 
the last car on the lead lap. As he's trying to navigate through all this traffic. As the restarts are pretty chaotic. So everyone starts to settle in. And right now it's Ani in the lead. He has pulled away from Eric Belmont. He has a 1.3 second lead over the 29. And there is Justin Reeside. So far, making the call to come in during that last caution seems to be paying off for the 78 as he is up to 15, up seven positions. As we're about halfway through this first stage, still a lot of laps to go. There's Odeon in the 79, trying to get into the top five. And Bill Cherry is on pit road. Must have had some type of issue. He does have damage to the left side of that car, so he made contact with someone. As he is on pit road now. See how long he stays on pit road. There's Walker in the top 10, up four positions. Having a good run so far. Biggest mover right now is David Leathers up 12 positions, currently in 18th. Make that 11 positions. As Parton just drove by. Reside was on the move, but the tires seem to have equaled out some. He hasn't picked up any spots since. We'll see. He's going to try to get by his teammate here. Thomas Noble, this is for 13. As he is in the outside, Noble in the inside. See how loose Noble is getting. Some cars have some issues with their setup, and some don't. is currently in 26. She had two issues and she is still on the lead lap. So she is doing a great job considering what has happened early on during this race. There's Doug Brady in 32nd. Hey, guys. Lost five positions. Not the start he wanted to this race. As we check on Reside, he's going to pick up our, another spot here, up 10. Currently in 12. Odeon in third. Now you're going to start seeing what cars have that long run speed if we stay green for a very long time. And Adi, he is a second and a half in front of Eric Belmont. But right now, Lost City is in control of this race, one and two. A 
this. This is the longest run we've had so far after having a few early cautions. The nighttime eventually will set in as well. So the track will change a little bit. Currently the track temp is 74 degrees. It is pretty windy though. We haven't talked about the wind. It's 22 miles per hour. That's a pretty strong wind. So that might be causing a little, a few issues for these drivers as well. Let's do a rundown of your top 15 with Ani in the lead. Eric Belmont in second. Muldoon in third. Ethel in fourth. Raven in fifth. Spurraw in sixth. Blackwell in seventh. Walker in eighth. Pierce in ninth. Weezy in tenth. Peyton Hill in eleventh. Justin Reeside in twelfth. Tyler Commander in thirteenth. Thomas Noble, 14th. And Mitchell O'Brien rounds out your top 15. And we have 32 cars on the lead lap. Justice Blackwell will get the lucky dog at the end of this stage. There's Brogan, he gets very loose there, coming out of four. He's gonna lose a couple spots. He's down to seventh. As we check out the leader. Ani might be able to start putting some cars a lap down here. There's his teammate of Cherry. Cherry had an incident early a few laps ago, had to go onto pit road. Almost make contact with the 19. Now he's going to be three wide for a second here. He needs to be careful. As he has been dominating this stage. Six gets by Blackwell. As we have battles throughout the field here. Mitchell O'Brien, this is for 14th. Thomas Noble trying to fight back in the outside. He can not get there. He's giving it all he has on the outside. As this track is starting to rubber in, you might have two lanes you could use here. As you see, the 99 is off the track. see if we can figure out what happened to the 99 here. It looks like he just lost it. And he did. He's drifting. He tried so hard to save it. Just could not. There's Adi. Ahead of him is Doug Britton. He could put Doug Britton a lap down as well as Merle McGuire. As Ani has so much speed today. Now 
he's trying to, he wants to put Britain a lap down here. He's still got 27 cars on the lead lap, but we might have 26 if he gets by the 84. If he is gonna get by the 84. Kozak on pit road. This is a battle for seventh. Axel Ravens there, Walker. Walker quietly having a good race up in the top 10. His teammates not too far behind, well, about eight positions behind in 17. But he's picked up 12 spots. Walker trying to pick up a spot or trying not to lose a spot here. Actually, he just picked up a spot. Now he's in eighth. As Ani continues to lead, he has a four second lead over Eric Belmont and a six second lead over Odeon. He is on the hunt to put more cars a lap down. Next car would be Marco Swift. He is the last car on the lead lap. So Marco Swift would be your lucky dog. If the 73 gets by him, which he is going to. And he does not. You gotta remember, these drivers have not pitted. So they are on tires that have 69 laps on them. So it's gonna be harder and harder to make these passes. As the 45 is having an issue he is on the apron. Chances are he drifted right in that same spot. He could not save it, but he already had damage on that car as well from early on. Eric Dumma has gained a little time. He is down uh, almost two and a half seconds. At B side, remember he was one of those drivers that pitted on lap 30. He is currently in 11, so it worked out for him. He picked up about six positions. So it was the right call, but what, what do they do at the end of this stage? Dougie Zoom and Andrew Green. Still trying to battle here for 24th, 23rd. Right behind them is Lotus Lee. And Lotus Lee is trying not to go a lap down as Ani is right behind him. You can see the fire come out of the pipe as the 73 lifts there. He's going to put Lee a lap down. Now Lotus Lee will be your lucky dog unless Ani puts another car a lap down. Some of these cars are holding on for dear life. There's a Weezy. He's trying to get by the 38 of Ethel as they're dealing with traffic too. As we're about to have 12 laps here before the end of the stage. And Ani just 
put Dougie Zoom a lap down and Andrew Green. He is just flying. This car is on rails in this first stage. And there's, and there's a pile up there. The 11 Audi almost got cut up in that. And it's a, the 11, 111 and the 10. The Leathers just could not hold on. And unfortunately, William Thompson gets wrapped up in this mess. That's right on board. Leathers here. You can see all, everything he's doing with that wheel, trying to save it. He's not able to save it. And we had a pretty long run there before the caution came out. Now Ani's gonna head on to pit road. Who is gonna follow him? I mean, we're we're only a few laps out from the end of the stage here. It looks like Axel Raven decides to stay out here. Axel Raven decided to stay out, so Axel Raven's gonna try to get some stage points here. Axel Raven, he is your leader right now. In second is Justin Reside. He, he pitted on lap 30, so he didn't have to come in. I mean, they probably should have to get some tires. You definitely need tires here. There's, there's still a lot of cars on pit road. And we have 23 cars on the lead lap. Marco Swift was the lucky dog. Should have about six laps to go when the green flag drops. So it's going to be a shootout here for stage points. And stage points are so crucial in this series. Right now in the top 10, Axel Raven, Justin Reside, Ricky, Robert Cron in fourth, Trey Smith fifth, Ani sixth, Eric Belmont seventh, Odeon eighth, Brogan ninth, and Tassie Blackwell rounds out the top 10. So it's going to be a dash here to see who wins some stage points. As William Thompson is on pit road. Just didn't have luck there when uh, Leather spun out in front of him. He had nowhere to go. And he is currently three laps down. He did suffer a little damage on that car. So this is probably coming back in to get some more repairs. But it's been a wild one here at Iowa. There's Northern Lights in the front row on this restart. But Raven has not pitted. So 
his tires have about 81 laps on him. So this could be disastrous here. Can he even hold on to a top 10 here in about, when we cross the line, we're gonna have five laps to the end of stage one. This might get wild here on this restart. There's some cars that just pitted, some haven't pitted. The green flag waves and we are underway for five laps to the end of stage one. Got Reside and Raven. Reside has those fresher tires. Because everyone's gonna battle here. One to try to pick up spots and two to try to get stage points. And here comes Ani, he is flying, he's already in second. He picked up like five spots here in like one lap. Let's so go around turn three and four as we got three laps to go. Raven's holding on for dear life there. He's in six on those worn tires. He wants to make it to the end of the stage, at least in the top 10, get some stage points. As now we have two to go. Adi's still in second. Odeon is trying to take a spot their way. He does. So we got one more lap to go to the end of stage one. Can't Risai hold on? That's Odeon desperately wants that playoff point as he's in the outside side in the inside as they go around three and four it's gonna be close but it's gonna be only on win stage one What a run by Odeon. Picks up a playoff point, wins the stage. He's already locked into the playoffs, so this is big for him. Those points are, are magnified once the playoffs start. Now we're going to see who decides to come in. Maybe Raven, after staying out, it didn't pan out. Right now, it's showing him at 11th, but I'll have to replay, do a, uh, look at the replay to see who was the top 10 at the end of that stage. Who decides to come in? Justin Reside, he's not coming in. He decides to stay out. Axel Raven was the only one left. He is on pit road, and he's probably going to be the only one on pit road. So he'll have the freshest tires out of everyone. But when he comes out, he'll be in 23rd. So he's going to have to work his way through the field. Not even halfway yet. We still got a ways to go.
So it looks like Andrews, he was your lucky dog. So Chris Andrews is back on the lead lap. Ty Bird is six laps down, currently running at 39th. We'll see if we get the one to go this time by. It's never a dull moment in an exit series. That's why this series is one of the hardest ones to win in the whole entire league. Just so much going to happen throughout the regular season in the playoffs. You know what I mean? You need to be fast, but you also need some luck too along the way. Justin Reeside is your biggest mover, and Ricky, the number eight, both up 20 positions. As you can see, the sun has almost completely set. track is very cool 70 degrees and the wind has is up to 24 so I mean it's not the best conditions today out on a track for a lot of these drivers that's why you see some of them struggle as we get the one to go the end of stage two is lap 181 hopefully we get a long green flag run here Another, another caution would to come out right away. Merle McGuire would be your lucky dog currently running in 25th. That's if he stays in 25th. Once we restart this race. And the green flag waves and stage two is underway here at Iowa Speedway. A great jump there on the restart. Quickly pulls away from Reside. Now Adi's going to try to get by Reside. Remember, Reside pitted on lap 30, so he's on older tires. Try to get by on uh, this side here. There's Gonzalez currently in 13th. Followed by Thomas Noble. Jonas Lee there in the 21st. As he had an adventurous first stage. As well as Leathers and Kozak. 
so much traffic back here. As we roll to the, to the front here, there's Tazzy in third. Ani in second. He has the sight set on Odeon. Both of these cars have been very fast. Might bat have a battle for the lead here soon, but that 73 has been a rocket ship so far. There's Brogan in seventh. He has lost a few spots. Dive to the inside here to, to try to pick up sixth place. Joel Bryan up in the top ten, up 15 position. They make contact at 23. 23 makes contact with Parton. Parton tries to, to send it. I don't know what Parton is thinking. I have no idea what Parton is thinking there. Let's go to the chopper cam. He just sends it in there and makes contact. And he's the one that suffers the most out of it. As he's going to spin out here. That's right on board reside here. I'm gonna see him try to send it in there to try to make a pass, but I'm not sure what he was trying to do. It's just a bad move there. Ooh, and reside hits him. He's gonna suffer damage there. That is not good for him. But he stays out. Got two cars on pit road, Robert Cron and Ricky. And it's possible this they just want to pit here, get fresh tires. I mean why not? Why not? You have nothing to lose in the way this race has been going. It might work out to your benefit later on. Robert Cron comes out of pit road here. And this is going to benefit Sebastian because now Sebastian is your lucky dog. So he beat out Merle there for the lucky dog position. So now we got 22 cars on the lead lap. Very easy to get lapped on a short track. So there's usually never too many cars left on the lead lap by the end of the race. But your top 10 right now, Odeon is your leader, Ani second, Tazzy in third, Eric Delmont fourth, Evan Ethel having a good run in fifth, Weezy as well in sixth, Brogan seventh, Trey Smith having a good run ninth, to be eighth, Mitchell O'Brien, ninth. And Justin Reside rounds out your top ten. Now the 125 is on pit road. I think he was caught up in that mess. So he's on pit road. Currently he's 31st. We're getting close to the halfway point of this race. There's been plenty of action, though. That is for sure. It's one of those races. Sometimes we could go a few weeks without getting a caution, and then we make up for it all in one race.
just a reminder, next week is an off week. It is our bye week. So there is no progressions for next week. And then we'll resume racing the week after that. But the off week is good for the league as, as a whole as team owners don't have to worry about progressions for a week or tracking who progresses. And it helps the league, gives the league time to get the progressions in for all the drivers. And then once we get back to racing, some of these drivers are going to look totally different. Some, of, some drivers will look much faster. We are about to resume racing. Ani and Odeon in the front row. They will battle for the lead. I mean, the preferred line, I feel like they both have been fast. We'll see who has the better jump here. I think that will decide who's going to take this lead. That's the green flag waves, and we are underway. Odeon are pretty even right now as they head into turn three. As they battle it out for the for the lead. Evan Ethel trying to pick up a spot there in the inside. And another caution. It's been a caution fest here today. Not sure who caused that, but there is a caution. There it is, the 19. He makes contact with the 45. He basically pins up from trying, he tries to block. He tries to block the 45 and just pins him into the wall. goes for a ride. getting a little too aggressive there. I mean, they they were just battling for like 30-something position. But that's what happens in short track racing. Tempers flare. Especially if you're not having a great day.
we'll see if we get the one to go this time by. Got two cars on pit road. And it's Tanner parted in a 45 of Bill Cherry. It has not been Bill Cherry's day. He's just been almost seems like he's been in almost every incident we've had. But this must be at least our fifth caution, I want to say. We're, we're close to that five. Your biggest mover is Mitchell O'Brien up. Actually, it's Chris Andrews up 20 positions in 17th. Joe Bryan is up 17th, 17 positions in the top 10. Solid run. There's two 307 bonus sports cars in the top 10. Then you got two Lost City cars in the top four. Should get the one to go this time. And we do. Got the lucky dog. It's Justice Black. Actually, now Merle McGuire is on the lead lap. He was the lucky dog. So that worked out for the 33 that that caution came out. He's at the tail end of the field. If you're the lucky dog, you will always go to the tail end of the field. But you are on the lead lap. But that's how that works. You get your lap back, but you have to restart the race at the tail end of the field. Even though there's lap cars ahead of you, that's just the rule. You have to restart at the tail end of the field. But you are on the lead lap, so that is important. Got 23 cars on the lead lap. As the green flag waves and we are racing. And Ani and Odia once again are going to try to battle it out for the lead. That time it was not even an issue for Adi. He just got right by Odeon. And there's the number 40 with an aggressive move on the outside of the 38. He's trying to pick up another spot, maybe two. up to six if he can. There's Andrew Green in 13th. Reside is there. Gonzalez is there. Thomas Noble in 15th. Behind him is Chris Andrews. It's just trying to battle. Restarts is the best time to try to gain positions. Tyler Commander currently in 18th. As we check on your leader, Ani. Almost a half second lead here. Down in second. Tazzy's there though. Easy as well. We'll see if they can get by Odeon. But Odeon's been pretty fast. It's Marco Swift. Apparently in 
20th. Right behind him is Tyler Commander. His other drivers are a lap down. It's broken in. Randy Pierce going at it for six. Stage two is lap 181. We still got a ways to go. Andrews has quietly having a good race in 14th, up 23 positions. He's from Desperado's Racing. Devin Ethel down to ninth. He seems to be struggling slightly as Cordell Walker is going to try to put a move and try to get by the outside. Quietly having a good race. There's Reeside. Even with that damage, they, they made the call to not come in and to stay out. And he is still running in 13. But he is on a different pit cycle than everyone else. There's Sebastian and Marco Swift. They're trying to. Sebastian gets by. That was for 19th. As we check on your leader, Ani. Ani has about a six tenths of a second lead over the 79 of Odeon. If there was a caution right now, it would be Ducky Zoom. Your lucky dog, he is ahead of Doug Britton, but if Doug Britton could get by Zoom, Britton would beat your lucky dog. As Zoom is trying to get by, reside here. with the fastest lap in the race. He is currently in eighth. As he's trying to get by O'Brien. And he easily gets by. As drivers are about 50 laps on these tires. So they're starting to see some type of fall off here. This is our battle for 16th. Ani still with about a half second lead over Odeon. But they're going to have to deal with a little traffic 
before the stage ends. We still got a ways to go for the end of the stage. But we've had a pretty decent run here and a green, green flag. Let me not say that too loud. Brogan up to six. Now he's looking to get by Eric Belmont here. Tied to the inside, he gets very loose coming out of four. Now they're side by side heading into one. They continue to battle for fifth. This is a good battle going on here. Broken once again. Once again, gets very loose coming out of four. And that helps Belmont in the outside. Broken, he's just been loose these last few laps. And he's just losing momentum. That's Ricky. Gets by, Freeside moves up to 13th. And now we have a battle for the lead and, and Odeon goes right by. You can see the 73 get loose. And now they got, they're gonna deal with some lap traffic here. Odeon has this long run speed here in the second stage. He catches Ani and makes the pass. Is Ani, I mean, is Ani, yeah, is Ani losing steam here? The deeper we get into this run. As he is trying to not lose too much ground to the 79. They're trying to follow each other through this traffic. But they're in the clear for probably a few laps before they're going to have to deal with even more traffic. The third is Tazzy, but she is almost two and a half seconds back. Eric Belmont is right behind her looking to take over third. He's going to dive to the inside. They made contact. Try to get a little too aggressive, made contact there. The leaders definitely don't want to see another caution right now. As they continue to try to pull away, it's broken. He gets by easy. He moves up to fifth. down to fourth. But some of these drivers are starting to fade. Evan Ethel down to 11th. So he is definitely fading. Has lost 10 positions. Gonzalez is trying to hold on to that 10th spot. But as you can see, Gonzalez has some damage to the front, to the front of that car. has been a pretty long green flag run. But he has not really pulled away too far from Adi. Adi's keeping it close, about four tenths of a second. But they have some tra traffic up ahead they're gonna have to deal with here. two cars have been very fast today.
Oxy tried to put Carissa Morris a lap down as she gets very loose. Almost makes contact there with Ani. That was so close. That almost ruined his whole race. I guess a teammate trying to help another teammate there. See how loose that 323 is. And on entry, extremely loose. All depends on how that car is set up. Holding on, holding on to the lead, but barely. As they try to navigate through this traffic, bodies all over the bumper of the 79. Trying to make the pass here. They're side by side. Ani decides to follow Leathers, and that's the right move. Because now Ani takes the lead back away from the 79. As this traffic is creating havoc here. And it's a little dangerous because some of these cars are a little loose coming. On into the turn and coming out of the turn. As we have a hundred laps to go in this one. As Cordell Walker, he picks up a spot up to eighth. He's gonna look to get by Mitchell O'Brien. But they have Bill Cherry up ahead as well. They gotta be careful. Not to get a little too aggressive here in making this pass. And look at Cherry, he almost loses it there, holds on, but that slows down to 71. That's what I was talking about. Gotta be careful. Some of these cars have just had issues all day because of their setup. Here comes the 71. He's trying to make this pass here. At the 30, but that 45 is right ahead of him. Let's check on your leader. Adi, he has pulled away one second lead over Odeon. Let's do a rundown of your top 15 with Escola, your leader. Muldoon in second. Belmont in third. Spurlaw in fourth. Blackwell in fifth. Easy in sixth. O'Brien, oh, oh, and the caution is out. And it's the 45. What an issue. He's just been having issues all day long. They should seriously just park that car as Evan Ethel barely gets by. The 19 just rams into him. The 19 couldn't escape him. there so now what do the crew chiefs decide here as we have a few takers on pit row Ani decides to stay out everyone else comes on in your lucky dog is Marco Swift but everyone is on pit road not everyone, but a lot of drivers are on pit road. Tazzy, Belmont, Ethel, Brogan. A lot of the cars that were in the top 10. Even Odeon came on in, but Ali decides to stay out. Some 
very interesting calls being made today. those other cars that are a few laps down. As we have 94 laps to go and the end of stage two is about 20 something laps away. So that'll give another driver opportunity to, to get on the lead lap. Right now, we currently have 22 cars on the lead lap. And Adi was the only one that didn't pit. costly caution for that 73 team depending on what happens the rest of the way and Odeon is trying to get his second win of the season take away from a driver getting in by a win if Adi wins again but on the flip side you know you have more drivers that can get in by points so it's a little give or take there but if you can't get in by points your only shot is to win a race to get in. So we get the one to go. Only one car is on pit road. And that is the 19 of Jaden Swift. And we're going to have 21 laps for the end of stage two. We've had so much things happen in this race. So pace car goes on to pit road. As the green flag waves and we are underway. Odeon easily gets by Adi. Adi is on those very worn tires. So he might just continue to fall here. As everyone's gonna try to try to pick up some spots here on this restart. It's gonna get a little hectic here in the first few laps. Belmont in fourth. Adi trying to hold on to that second place, but his tires are just too worn. Broken goes right by. actually holding up. And 
this is a big spot here because right now Dougie Zoo. If we get a caution, he is your lucky dog. Tyler Commander's the next spot, and here it dares to caution. Dougie Zoo is gonna get his lap back, and he's gonna be on the lead lap. But I don't know who caused that caution. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Cherry. I think it was the 19. Let's see if we can see. And I'm not sure who caused that caution. No car stopped on the track. Maybe we had a phantom caution. I don't know. I did not see a car spin out. Unless they temporarily lost control and the caution came out. That is possible. But it's going to be Dougie Zoom. He should be your lucky dog here. And he is, as you see him. Going to start going by everyone. He's back on the lead lap. Now we got 23 cars on the lead lap. The next car in line would be Tyler Commander. Unless Doug Britton or Blackwell gets by him. We're gonna still, regardless, we'll still have one more caution at the end of stage two. Not sure how many cautions that makes, that makes, but we, I think we're approaching close to ten. Nowhere near the record. I think the record is like 15 or so. It's interesting. Ani did not go on to pit road. So he continues to stay out on those worn tires. Thompson was in a wreck early on. Um, he had a lot of damage to the front end of the car. Oh, actually, maybe it was Thompson. Maybe Thompson had an issue because he just reset. So maybe something did happen to the 10. It just didn't get picked up on exactly what happened, but he definitely had an issue there because he did reset. And he's on pit road. Your biggest mover is Chris Andrews, currently in 13th, up 24 positions. Heck of a run by the number two. He started at the back of the field, and he is close to that top 10. Let's see if we get the one to go this time by. And we do. So we will go back to racing. And stage, and the stage two is getting close. We have about 11 laps. Can all 
Yan Wing. Uh, second stage here. Get another playoff point. That would be big. flag drops and we are back to racing here at Iowa we got 11 laps to the end of stage two who will win this stage our teammates battle for the lead Brogan and Odeon Brogan starts to pull away but for how long? As all these drivers continue to battle. Donnie is still out there with those worn tires. We'll see how many positions does he lose. I mean, he does have a pretty fast car, but having those worn tires makes a big difference. There's Gonzalez and Pierce. This is to get into the top five. Gonzalez been having a great day. There's Axel Raven at 12. Evan Ethel in 13. Ethel was very fast early on, but he has faded some. Currently at 13th, not bad, but he wasn't like the top five early on. There's Mitchell O'Brien. Currently in 10th. Walker in ninth. As we only have a few more laps to go to the end of stage two. Right behind Brogan is the 29 of Belmont here. He's going to go to the inside. But he cannot get by there. Now he's going to try to bounce it to the outside. As we have five to go. Belmont dives to the inside. Can he make it stick on the inside and make the pass? But there's Odeon there as well. He's looking to try to make it three wide. Now he gets behind the 29. As Morgan continues to lead. Can Brogan be the third driver to get in the playoffs from the DOG? Odeon did it week one, Sebastian week two, and here's Brogan in the lead in week three. As we have two laps to go. Caution were to come out. The field is frozen and the top 10 would get the stage points. As Brogan comes out of turn four. This is the last lap of stage two. like Brogan is going to hold on as he comes out of turn four. Brogan Spurrow wins stage two.
loud as anyone decides to come on pit road. This is the last caution for a end of stage. I mean, we can still have more cautions, but it's a possibility we can stay green the rest of the way. Your lucky dog goes to Tyler Commander. He should be your lucky dog. And that'll put 24 cars on the lead lap. Got any takers on to pit road here? Ali continues to stay out, which you would figure just come in now, get some. I mean, they could probably make it on fuel. Actually, he can't make it on fuel, so why not just come in? I mean, he would be extremely fast in the last part of the race, but he would have to get his lap back. He might lose two laps. And to get two laps back, and then, yeah, that's that's a stretch. He would, have a, he would need a lot of things to go his way. There's Tyler Commander. He is back on the lead lap. He has won the championship in this series before, about two seasons ago. This is definitely going to shake up the points. Tyler Commander is currently 29th in points. Not the type of season he wanted to get off to, especially when some of your teammates are doing so well. You definitely want to be a part of that too. Yeah, those drivers that pit it on lap 156, they should be able to make it because you could go about 100 laps on fuel because it is a, a short track. And if we keep getting cautions, they could definitely make it to the end. So, I mean, it all depends. But I think they should be okay. So we got 66 laps to go. If we stay green the rest of the way, it's gonna it's gonna come down to which drivers manage their tires the best. We'll have the best chance of winning this race. And they might have to deal with some traffic here. As we get the one to go. As this might be the last caution laps we get. Unless we have an incident. But the way today has gone, there's a good chance that something else can happen. William Thompson still on pit road. He's been there for a long time. He is 25 laps down. Rough day for him. Bill Cherry's 18 laps down. Parton, 13 laps down. Swift, 9. LaFrance, 8. Bird, 6. Kozak, 6. Demora, 5. Leathers, 5. We 
getting set to get stage three going. The green flag is out. Stage three is on their way. Signed in that inside. And who could it? That's Eric Belmont with a great jump on the restart there. There's Ani in seventh. And he might continue to lose spots here. He moves up to second as Brogan is fading in that inside line. It's just not fast right now. Brogan has dropped down to fifth. So he needs to get in line because he's going to continue to lose positions. Now he finally gets in line. A little further back here in the field, there's Axel Raven trying to battle Justin Reeside. And Pierce is there, Mitchell O'Brien. There's Marco Swift, currently in 17th. Robert Cronin. Now Robert Cronin is in 17th. Dougie Zoom in battling for 17th with Robert Cron. Yes, he is up 10 positions. Easy battle in Brogan. This is for seventh. Right behind Iweezy is Evan Ethel. He was able to pick up a few spots there. Ethel in the top ten now. Let's see if he can pick up a few more. Now we have a battle for the lead. And that's Odeon and Eric Belmont as they're side by side coming out of turn four. And it's Odeon Muldoon with the lead once again. Now, can he pull away from the 29? Muldoon looking to get his second win of the season. And if, and if he could win, he would, it will be a clean sweep of all the stages and gets the win. That's a lot of playoff points. He, he's already locked in. That would be huge for the 79 team once the playoffs start. Because during the playoffs, you need those points. Especially, they're going to help you advance to each round if you have a bad week. Those playoffs points, they stick with you to, you know, through the, each round, except the last round. It's just whoever finishes the highest. There's Gonzalez getting by. Walker, look at Walker. Into the top five in fourth. Good run for Walker. Good run for Tazzy as well. She is in fifth. We still got 53 laps to go. There's Dougie Zoom picking up a few more positions up to 12. Dougie Zoom on the move here in this third stage. And Brogan has just, the wheels have fallen off Brogan's car. 
He was the leader. Now he is at 15. And it's about to be 16th there. So he has short run speed, but he has no long run speed whatsoever. As he continues to hold on and continues to fall back. Went from having a shot to win this race to just holding on, hopefully holding on to the lead lap. And Odeon almost has a second on Belmont. Let's do a quick rundown of your top 15 for the last time. And there's Odeon, the leader, L. Eric Belmont in second. Gonzalez with a solid run in third. Walker as well in fourth. Tazzy Blackwell in fifth. Ani on those older tires. He is still holding on in sixth. Weezy seventh. O'Brien right behind him in eighth. Reside in ninth. Solid day considering he was in some incidents. Evan Ethel. In 10th, Randy Pierce, 11th, Axel Raven, 12th, Thomas Noble, 13th, Robert Cron, 14th, and Brogan holding on to that 15th, and something happened to the 26th. Let's see if we can see what happened to Andrew Green and he just loses it. Holding on for dear life. And he res resets and goes to the garage. If another caution were to come out, which one almost did, it would be Doug Britton, your lucky dog. We got 45 laps to go. Odeon in control. One second lead. He's going to have to start dealing with traffic. It's going to depend on how well he deals with this traffic. Six is on pit road. Now with Belmont trying to get by Holdorf here. He cannot waste no time. He needs to get by him as soon as he can. Now Ani finally comes on to pit road. This is a scheduled stop for Ani. Yes, he's gonna go a lap down. We'll see if he if he goes two laps down. Let's see. As Orient is coming around turn three and four. He's gonna he's gonna be Orion. Gonna be one lap down. Well, he's gonna be lightning fast on those tires. That's we're gonna have about 40, 40 laps to go. There's Odeon. A one and a half second lead over Belmont. You can see Belmont there. And a three second lead over Gonzalez. Bill Cherry comes onto pit road. There's Walker and then Tazzy. 
Those are your top five. Tazzy's five and a half seconds back. Odeon leads the way. After he gets by Swift, he's going to have a little break as far as traffic, and then there's going to be a ton of traffic. So we'll see how he manages the rest of the race here. Yes, Adi is the lucky dog. Unless he gets by the leader and gets back on the lead lap. And the caution comes out. And Adi will be the lucky dog. As you see the 111. Let's see what happens here. Carissa gets loose. And she clips the 111 and he goes for a ride. Carissa has been having problems all day long. Leathers just had nowhere to go. He just, Leathers did the right thing. He went to the inside, but he just got clipped. It was just, that's why he's drifting. Because he is on the outside, and then he's going to try to bounce to the inside. Right here, he's gonna try to miss her. He's gonna go on the inside, though. But she just barely clips him. And we have another caution. And Adi is your lucky dog, but he's gonna be at the tail end of the field. But this is gonna help Adi here. If he could climb through the field and get the win, that would be insane thing to watch. But we'll see. He is on fresh tires, so he could be very aggressive. As there he goes, getting his lap back. I think everyone is safe on fuel, especially with this, with this other caution here. We have 35 to go. There's not many laps on a short track. They go quick if we stay green. Looks like Leathers heads into pit road, and he does. As he has some damage. So right now, your lucky dog would be Brit Doug Britton if he could stay ahead of Blackwell when we restart this race and we get another caution if we get another one. A lot of drivers are coming onto pit road. And Doug Britton is one of them. I mean, you might as well. You have nothing else to lose it. With these fresh tires, it would help you probably be the lucky dog and get your lap back. He is currently 25th. Everyone is trying to get by these lapped cars here. Some cars trying to get their positions back. They were 
that were held up there for a second. Should get the one to go this time by. And then things get interesting from here. And we get the one to go. Now audience in the inside. He's going to restart in the inside. And I'm more tires, man. This restart's going to be tricky. I feel like the outside, you're better off being on the outside right now. You got Belmont on the outside. Walker on the outside. E. Reezy, O'Brien. All those drivers are on the outside. Everyone pitted at the same time, so no one has tire advantage here in the top 10. As they come out of turn four, green flag waves and we are underway. We have 31 laps to go here at Iowa Speedway. Who is going to head into victory lane? We've got Belmont on the outside, Odeon in the inside. And they're side by side going into turn three. Gonzalez is back there as well as Walker and Blackwell. Belmont continues to fight in the outside. He's going to take the lead. 79 was going to try to cross him over and try to go back to the outside. But he cannot get there. Now Gonzalez is there in third. Walker in fourth. Then it's Tazzy and O'Brien. Weezy down to seventh, trying to hold on to that seventh spot. You can see how loose Iweezy is in that inside. There's Merle McGuire in 15th, up 19 positions. Not a bad day, consider that. You know, he was a lap down. So much was going on for that car. Weezy in ninth. Taz in fourth. And your leaders, Eric Belmont, but not by much. Odeon is right there as we have 26 laps to go. I don't think fuel is going to be an issue. I mean, you never know if people didn't top off, if they didn't calculate the right amount of fuel to put in. Can Eric Belmont hold on and lock himself into the playoffs? This will be his first, I think his first win in the next gen and his first time in the playoffs. I'm not 100% on that. But Odeon is all over him. Belmont does not want to see a caution because that means he would have to restart in the inside. And it just has not gone well for anyone restarting in the inside. Let's reside a commander. That was a battle for ninth. Back to your leader. 
about a half second lead. There is no traffic up ahead. Just needs to get through these 20 laps and hope that there is no caution. Driver's fighting for the lucky dog is Justice Blackwell and Doug Britton, but Blackwell is right now in front of Doug Britton. So Blackwell would be the lucky dog if a caution were to come out. And there goes Britton in the inside. This is a battle for who could get back on the lead lap before caution comes out. Doug Britton got very loose there coming out the turn. Back to your leader. About a second lead over Odeon. It's been a wild race here at Iowa. And I'm sure all these drivers are ready for an off week after this one. There's Mitchell O'Brien going into the top five. As Walker has faded slightly. But either way, still a great run for him. But now he has to worry about Commander. He don't want to lose another spot here. This Commander has caught up to him pretty quick. is on the bumper of the 71. Now he's gonna go to the inside as they go into turn three. We'll see if he can make a pass on the inside there. It's gonna be hard. As we got 16 laps to go already. This race is quickly coming to a close. is going to try it again on the inside. Can he make it stick? Walker's trying to battle. Hold on. Walker does not want to give up that spot. They're still side by side. Great battle for six. They continue to go at it here. Surprisingly, Commander's doing a great job in that inside line. But for how long could he keep it up? Walker does not want to give up that spot and does it. He fights him off. Great job by the 71. That was a heck of a battle there. As we go back to your leader. Still one second lead. And we got 12 laps to go. He's going to have to deal with the 24 of Zach Holdorf here before the end of this race. Because he is quickly gaining ground on the 24. We'll see if Holdorf will slow him down or not. But Odeon is keeping it close. Not letting him pull away, as you can see him right there. Nine tenths of a second. And these two continue to go at it here with 10 to go. No one wants to give up that spot. As 
Belmont gets by Holdorf there. Now Odeon can't waste time. He's going to make the pass on the outside. That was the right move to make there. Now they should not see traffic. There's only eight laps left. The only next cars is Demora. I don't think they're going to catch up in time. Might be a little close. And Walker and Commander continue to battle. They must have been at it for like the last 10 laps. Just trying to hold him off. Walker does not want to get that spot up. But Commander's just not giving up on that inside. had him but now the 71 comes back on the outside this is such a great battle for for six we have to check on the leaders here and Odeon is has caught up to that 29 he's gonna have to hold off that 79 here for five more laps when will Odeon make his move He's going to make it now. He's going to go to the outside. It's side by side and the back stretch. Odeon looking to get his second win. Belmont is looking to lock himself into the playoffs and get his first win. As they're side by side crossing the stripe. Four to go. But they might have to deal with some traffic here in the next few laps. Now it's Odeon with the lead. Does Belmont have anything left for the 79? Now we have three to go. You see those two cars up ahead. They're going to have to deal with those two cars because they are closing in, closing in on them fast. Odeon has to make the right moves here. Those two cars in front of them are side by side. That's going to cause some problems. Two laps to go. Odeon doesn't know which way to go. Is he going to try to split them both? And that's what he's going to try to do. Now he goes to the inside of the 19. He almost makes contact with Swift. As they come out of turn four, the white flag waves last lap here at Iowa. Belmont is still there. Odeon desperately trying to get by the 19. As they go around turn three and four. Belmont gets very loose coming out of the turn. Odeon wins at Iowa Speedway in week three and gets his second win of the season. And it's a clean sweep. He wins all the stages and wins the race in second Eric Belmont third Tonto Gonzalez fourth Tazzy Blackwell fifth Tyler Commander sixth Mitchell O'Brien as you see the fireworks in seventh Cordell Walker eighth Weezy ninth Randy Pierce and Thomas Noble rounds out your top ten today's race was an adventure and a journey. But at the end of it, Odeon gets his second win of the season. And it's a big day for him for playoff points. That is for sure. And DLG, they have won all three races out the gate. Can they keep the momentum going once we start week four? This is a big progression week, so... We'll see if they can continue to be consistent once we kick off week four. But congrats to the 79 team and DOG. And like always, thank you for supporting the league and the stream. I will see you guys next time.